So you want to learn hacking, but you are still finding a path to get started. If you want to start, you can just get started by jumping in right now. Learning hacking is not as hard as you think it is. First, you just need to install Linux. There is no need to buy new hardware for just installing Linux. You can install it on your old computer. Linux can be installed everywhere and hardware requirements. You can install it on a potato computer. If you have a super old computer, you can easily install Linux on it. But why Linux? Why can't we learn hacking using a Windows system? Look, it is not like we can't learn hacking on our Windows system. We can learn hacking on Windows too, but Linux is strongly preferred because of how much flexible and powerful it is for hacking related tasks. Windows isn't ideal for learning hacking. Windows hides everything from you, like you can't see raw processes, permissions, and network level control. Also, Windows doesn't come with hacking tools, so you spend more time installing tools instead of learning what actually matters. Most hacking tools don't come for Windows. Those that are written for Windows, it flags them as malicious. Linux is highly recommended for hacking. Linux distros like Kaylee, Parrot, and Blackarch are specifically made for hacking and come with tons of hacking tools. Also, every server in the world runs Linux, so if you want to hack Linux, you may need to know how it works. Linux gives you complete control over your system, and there are a lot of other reasons which make Linux the first choice for hackers. Learning Linux isn't that hard, but it is only possible by getting your hands dirty. You can read tons about Linux and how it works, but if you don't know the practical stuff, you know nothing. So just install a Linux operating system on your computer. There are multiple ways to install Linux. You can install it in Windows using WSL, but it is going to be CLI only. You can run it inside a virtual machine to get full desktop environment vibes, but if you have low system specs, then you can install it directly on your hardware. Once installed, you can mess around and learn about it. Learning Linux is very fun. I definitely recommend you start with something simple and more hackery, like Kali Linux or Parrot OS. They're Debian based, which is easier to learn, but once you get your hands on these, you can move on to something even harder like Arch Linux. The second thing you need to do along with learning hacking is learning a programming language. You can grab literally any programming language, something simple and easy like Python. Python is the easiest programming language. It comes pre-installed with Linux, well, most Linux systems, and it is one of the core components of many Linux systems. You should learn Python and Linux instead of Windows because you'll get more chance to learn Linux that way. Python isn't hard, you'll start to grasp it in just a few weeks. Programming is also very important for hacking, as we need to write scripts for automating stuff and also for writing custom hacking tools and exploits. Now, learning Python doesn't mean you need to be an expert at it. You just need to learn enough so you can read code and make changes according to your needs. Python is great for beginners, but if for some reason you just don't like Python, you can start with C. C is a middle-level programming language. Once you get a hold of C, learning Python is going to be a lot easier for you. Now I'll suppose that you have a good understanding of Linux systems and programming. After this, you can learn networking basics. Networking is very important. Hacking relies heavily on understanding how networks work. You need to learn some simple and beginner concepts like TCP, slash IP, ports, protocols, and subnetting. There are a lot of YouTube channels where you can learn networking completely free, like Network Chuck where you can learn deep networking concepts in a very fun way. You also need to get your hands on some web technologies like HTML, CSS, and basic JavaScript to learn about web hacking because most attacks today target web applications. You can learn how servers work and client-server communication. In the next step, you have to decide whether you want to go to the defensive side or the offensive side. This depends totally upon your own interest. You need to figure out if you like breaking things or defending things. Personally, I like breaking things, so I am on the offensive side, but the offensive side has a lot more competition. You can get more jobs on the defensive side, but the defensive side is a bit harder. Once you select your interest, you'll find a lot of sub-niches in your field. Like in the offensive side, you have web exploitation, network exploitation, wireless exploitation, binary, and many others. You need to figure out which suits you best and start learning. Don't jump from one niche to another because it'll just waste your time. Personally, I like web exploitation and wireless exploitation, which includes hacking Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth stuff. You can also join platforms like TryHackMe or Hack the Ebox for hands-on hacking. They are free or almost free. If you want to get a job, you can do certifications from Hack the Box and start applying for jobs. That's all for this video. 
Hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video for more hacking related videos. Until we meet next time, happy hacking.